New tonight, 11 Erie City Council members hearing more on Mayor Joe Schember's ideas for reforming the city's stormwater system. The mayor says incidents like last summer's sinkhole near 5th and Wayne cost the city $1.5 million to fix, adding it's a prime example of why a stormwater fee is needed and how action now could save the city in the long haul. Matt Mathias was at tonight's study session when council members were given details from an outside specialist as to how the city should proceed with repairs. Matt. That's right, Jen. None of this is set in stone yet, but the goal of the meeting tonight was to find a fair approach to restoring our stormwater systems. Mayor Joe Schember says now is the time to address the issue with the proposed stormwater fee. The mayor says incidents like last summer's sinkhole near 5th and Wayne Avenue that cost the city $1.5 million to fix is a prime example of why a stormwater fee is needed and action now could save the city in the long haul. Our underground sewer system is out of sight, out of mind. Nobody thinks about it. But a lot of it is 100 years old or older and is in very bad shape. And we'll have enough money that we can look at things, make sure they're okay before they collapse, which would be a lot less expensive and over the long term cost citizens a lot less. The city of Erie manages over 500 miles of pipe, which if placed end to end would reach from here to Knoxville, Tennessee. The way the city would fund this is by requesting a fee from Erie property owners that is derived into three categories for residential buildings. Non-residential buildings follow a different scale and are required to pay more per year than residential locations. However, if property owners take steps into their own hands to assist drainage on their property, they're eligible for credit. One of the individuals responsible for creating the policy shared with us what it takes for property owners to get credit. It is a way to recognize um, if somebody is actively managing the stormwater on their property uh, in a way that benefits the public system. Um, and so it's a way to go ahead and reduce your fee in exchange for going above and beyond and actually doing something to treat that water either from a volume standpoint or a water quality standpoint. Now this is nothing new as many cities around the state and around the country have implemented similar systems like this. If this policy is adopted, the city of Erie will have applications available for those that qualify for credits. Jen. All right, Matt Mathias live in our control room tonight. Thank you, Matt.